Hi there, it's Rick from the Merch Wizard team here. I've got a quick video for you guys today to show you how you can quickly and easily find terms that you may need to update after the new 3.3 content policy guideline update that Merch have made recently. Uh, you can use Merch Wizard to do this quickly, easily and for free. So here is a preview of what it would look like when you've got it all set up. It's a quick and easy setup so it doesn't take more than a few minutes. You can basically search for the infringing term and then when it brings back the search results you can click through and open up the merch edit pages for those particular designs that have got the uh, the infringing keywords in there and then just go into them and remove the, the words manually yourselves and hit save. So if you go to our merchwizard.app website you'll see our quick setup guide on there and you'll be able to just set up your own Airtable account, copy our starter template across and add it to your Merch Wizard extension. It doesn't take more than a few minutes to do and uh, it's really easy to set up following this guide. I'll just run through some of the main steps on the setup guide so you can see how easy it is to get set up. So you're going to get the extension and then it's going to prompt you to grab a license key and select the free tier and just hit subscribe. Put in your email address and password to create a Gumroad account and that will generate you a license key. You then want to copy that license key and paste it out into Merch Wizard. Then you're going to want to copy the Merch Wizard starter template base. So you just copy that base, it will prompt you to create an account, so create an Airtable account of your own. And then after that you can add this base to Merch Wizard just by clicking that Help API documentation, click Add Base to Merch Wizard and you're done with that bit. You can then check that it's set up correctly just by doing a search and checking that you get the four sample records here, which we do. And then I would go on to delete these ones out so you can just select all in the top left, right click, delete all selected records and then we want to start pushing our own records up. So the way we do this is go to the Merch Manage page and select the Live Listings filter in that status drop down and then we're going to start pushing our listings up to Airtable. What this does is it opens up each product page in a new tab and it scrapes all the information that it can from it, all the text fields, all the colours, fit types, reviews, BSR, everything and pushes it to your own Airtable base. Obviously this is very useful information to have in case your listings fall off and you ever need those in the future but for the purposes of this video we'll just concentrate on the 3.3 update. So once you've pushed up all your listings you can then search for the infringing keywords that you want to find and then it's just a case of going through each of those and opening up the edit product page on Merch by Amazon by clicking on the appropriate button and then going onto that and making the amendments necessary. If you want a more quicker and reliable way of making these changes, you can use the Merch Wizard Batch Editor feature which is available in the Pro tier and above. You basically click on the Batch Edit and you can then do a Find and Replace in here. So I'm going to find Neon and just replace that with Nightclub. If I open up these tabs and we'll see that the Neon word is gone it's been replaced with Nightclub. You can find and replace up to five pairs of keywords per batch edit, so use that as you see fit. Similarly, if you also have a set of keywords that you commonly put as your bullets and you think that, that could be infringing, like this one is particularly bad, uh, you can copy that and you can do the batch edit, find and replace, and you don't have to use a replace keyword. You can just say, I want to get rid of that phrase completely. And if we click through, yeah, it's replaced that completely. And finally, please check out our website. There's a really comprehensive feature section there which will spell out exactly what each feature does and what tier it's available in. And then take a look at the pricing page and see if you fancy having a go at any of our premium plans. Also, please join our Facebook group and subscribe to our YouTube channel which gets updated regularly with new content and new little tips like this. So stay tuned. Okay, cheers for now.